Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I'm starting the vlog. It's a little late this week. It's Friday morning, but I was not doing too much earlier in the week to be honest with you and all this election stuff has got me a little crazy. But we're going to start the vlog. I have some friend mail to show you, which I'm super excited about. And then I need to go to the, oh, let me fix this camera. I need to go to the post office and get some more today. However, I wanted to share with you my new product I got from Timmy. Um, and this is greens. So being keto, I, I don't get enough vegetables. I'm the first to admit it. So this is like a full serving of greens. It just helps. And these are vegan, plant-based. There's no fillers, no additives. You can drink it in juice. Um, like if you juice or smoothies, I would say. I'm drinking it plain. It's okay. But I would definitely say put it in a smoothie. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what I got. And I did get this free, but the review is my own. And I like that it's clean. Now there are four carbohydrates in it. But if I did it, if I drank this as a meal with my coffee, then this is fine for me and my carb count. But it's Teamy Greens. And down below there's a link and you get a discount if you would like to try it for yourself. So we have that. Mail. Let's do the mail. Because then I have to mail out one of these items. Okay, Karen from Georgia. We love Georgia today. Sent me some calendars and I'm going to actually share one with somebody else because I think that would be nice of me and I'm excited. If you haven't seen these calendars, I need to get this one out and do something with it for Christmas. Oh, I'm excited. So I grabbed, got some calendars from Karen and then, oh, hold on. Oh yeah, Laura from Iowa sent me a Halloween card. Isn't that sweet? With, and I don't have one of these to put on my window, that I have two cats in case there's an emergency, like a fire or something. People need to know I've got my babies in this house. So thank you so much for being a great supporter. Always a nice, kind word on my channel. Um, do -do 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 -do. Judy, look at that card. Judy sent me... Where'd it go? Oh, I already pulled it out. <gasps> Look at this hocus pocus. Isn't that awesome? I cannot wait to use this next year. So kind of you. She sent this from Amazon. I appreciate it. I just appreciate you all so much. I do. It gets me emotional. Look at that Halloween card. Guys, isn't that so pretty? I need to figure out something to do with my cards. And this is from Anella, sorry, Anella from Florida. Oh, it's a happy birthday card. Oh, I appreciate you guys. And then I think I have other cards downstairs, but I need to locate them. This here is from Gloria. And oh, look at the kitty. Looks like a little Alex. I just love cats. Maybe it's a problem. It probably is. But look what she made for my pillow. It's like um, appliqued on there. It's perfect. And the snaps are wonderful. Gloria, this is beautiful. I love it. And I cannot wait to put it on my pillow. I wanted to show you first before I put it on there because cats and fur Although, I mean, they don't tear it up, but they get fur on things. So I'm so excited for that. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Um, and then this card came from Elizabeth in Kentucky. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? And this one came from Yvonne in Georgia. We love Georgia. Oh, my God. Isn't that awesome? I just love cards. That's it. That was my friend mail. Yep, from today. Uh, but like I said, I should have some more later. I have to run to the post office. I know I have at least one package 
that I know what it is, and then I have a package that I don't know what it is, and then I need to mail a package. All right, guys, I should probably get to work. It's 9.30. I mean, I have been working, but I have more. All right, guys, I will talk with you soon. Oh, sorry, Deb. Good morning, everybody. How are you? It's Saturday morning, eight o'clock. I'm home and I will be staying home. <laughs> I'm wearing a Christmas shirt because I'm getting ready to record some Christmas uh, DIYs. But I got a call yesterday, I think, yeah, last evening that, and I knew this, I was in close contact with somebody diagnosed with COVID. Now I knew already that, he, that it, this person tested positive. Unfortunately, it was, he was asystematic, so he had, or symptomatic, he had no symptoms. And he only found out because he went, he was supposed to have surgery this week on his hand. So, unfortunately, um, I have to quarantine, which is fine. I've got plenty to do around this house. Christmas-wise, I have videos to get up. So, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I don't know how, if it's nationally or whatever, but I'm coming, buddy. Here, in the county that he lived in, I'm coming. The boys are hungry. Um, in the county that he lived in, contacted him, and they had to give a list of people. It happened to have been at my birthday party. Now, just a matter of record, we were all wearing masks the whole night. There was not a ton of people there, and like I said, he had no symptoms, so he had no reason to believe. And they're older, and so they kind of, you know, but he's retired. He hangs out at home, so... I'm not really, they're not even sure how he picked it up, but you know, it's, that's the world we live in. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And the good thing is I had already been quarantining, um, because I found out Wednesday and I was busy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday around here. So I didn't really, other than I made one trip to the Dollar Tree. So there's that. Hi, no, you hungry. And I will say I'm glad that um, most of my Christmas shopping is done. Um, I, you know, I just, this is kind of an eye opener. I sound all stuffy. I'm pretty sure this is allergies, but again, I'm staring close to home. I'm monitoring my temperature. I have not had a fever. I don't have any difficulty breathing. I just have a stuffed up head, a sore throat in my ears, which for me could be allergies. The weather has been a little crazy. Um, so yeah, so today I'm recording my favorite video of all the holiday season and that would be the holiday candy from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I love this video. Um, so I have everything ready and lined up for that and then that'll come out tomorrow, Tuesday. And then I think, I'm not sure the order, but I have two, maybe three Christmas DIYs coming out this week. So I'm kind of excited about that as well. So right now I am... Feeding the fur boys. I am brewing a cup of coffee because I'm just getting, I'm just getting out of bed. I've been up, but I was laying upstairs watching CNN and yeah, it's going to be a get it done around the house kind of day and I'll bring you along. I hope it's not too boring. All right, let's have some coffee. morning everybody oh crazy hair it's Sunday morning at 9 50 a.m. and I'm getting ready to do some house cleaning some deep cleaning in this kitchen and dining room area I have started decorating for Christmas um, so I need to 
do some deep cleaning, put some stuff away. I want to wipe down my counters with bleach. Um, I think I said earlier, I'm also refilling my Trader Joe's bottle. I bought some of this at um, Costco. It's everything but the bagel seasoning. I might be obsessed. I put it on everything. It's true. Um, so I've been quarantining. I think I said that at the beginning. And I haven't been feeling great. And I don't know exactly what's going on. If it's allergies. Do I have the plague? Do I have the common cold? I mean, who knows? Who knows? At this point, I don't know. But I am quarantining and I'm just staying clear of everybody. Because that's the the right thing to do. But yesterday I was, it was a pretty rough day all the way around yesterday. Health wise, headache, um, stuffy nose, upset stomach, weird. So now I have a fresh um, bottle of everything but the bagel. I know it's not the same seasoning, but that's okay. The rubber glove situation, guys, is helping a lot. My ha hands have not cracked yet. I'm also using moisturizer, of course, but I've been doing the, um, here, I'll show you what I'm doing right now. We're just using this bleach because I feel like, let me throw this away, I feel like, if there's even a possibility that I have any kind of crud, let's take care of it right away, you know? That is how I feel. So I've got the bleach spray. I'm also wearing some old clothes because <laughs> nobody wants bleach spray on anything good. I haven't like showered or anything yet today because this was my plan. Just wiping everything down. The nice bathroom bleach spray. Also, the benefit of bleach spray, it gets coffee stains off my counter. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I am a little obsessed with the bleach or with the coffee. And yeah, so I'm just wiping down the sink. I like to do this on occasion anyway. Um, you know, just cleans things up, get rid of any gross stuff in your sink and counters and all of that. Let's get this off here. Now, the one thing I do like to do then is go back over it. I need to get a new sink faucet. Clean out everything. Put that down. Put that down. I have to go get some more soap. This is something I made in pottery. I took a pottery class, I think last year? Year before last. Pre COVID. And then I just want to wipe this down. And then I have some old dish towels that I don't mind. Oops, sorry, if they get bleachy. I'll go in behind it and just wipe it up. It's that simple. All the surfaces in my kitchen will get taken care of in the same fashion. But first I need to do my coffee maker. I love this container that I can see the soap in it. Clean that out. There we go. And then next up. I'm going to disinfect all the counter space over there. All right, next step, cleaning the little grill. This is my little 
Weber smoke, Little Smoky. I'm cleaning it to put it away. Even though it's gonna be 75 degrees outside today, I have decided it's time to put the grill away. I won't be doing any grilling. Um, part of the reason is I block my back. Ooh, I probably should have done that before I <laughs> wiped down the whole kitchen. But it's fine. I will tell you what works great on this type of stuff is this awesome cleaner from Dollar Tree. Pretty strong. I don't use it a lot. But it does great on grease. Right? And that's important with my grill. Because um, I want to put it away nice and clean. But what I'm going to do is take it out in the front yard. I say front yard. In my front little space. And I'm going to let it um, dry in the sun. Right? Because then I can... Um, It'll be completely dry when I go to put it away. And this thing, I only used it a few times this summer. Um, so it's not too bad. And then I'll clean the grates. But I just want to make sure I get all the food up and out of here. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Just cleaning out the grill. I'll get that put away and then I'll bring you along. I have a rack that I'm gonna bring in this year to put all my plants on. But first I need to clean out my grill. Okay guys, we're gonna make some deviled eggs because I feel like it. Um, I have salt and pepper with the eggs. I'm gonna put some dill weed in here. I love adding dill to my deviled eggs. I also have pickled juice. We're gonna try the meat masher to see if this will mash up the egg yolks. Let's see why it wouldn't, right? Same concept. Hmm, does a pretty good job. I'll still have to get the fork out, but I will say that does a good job on the beginnings. First thing I like to do is pickle juice. And I go like a tablespoon at a time because I do not care for my, um, my deviled eggs to be too moist. So that's two tablespoons of that. And then I just go in here with the fork. But I like to get it all mixed in and I like to make it when my eggs are warm I just feel like it absorbs the juice from the pickles a little better. Alrighty. Now, we're going to do a little mustard. And if I had to guess, we'll say a tablespoon. I'm trying to be good about measuring. You don't have to. It's deviled eggs. But, so now we have the dilly stuff in here, the mustard and the dill weed, salt, pepper, you can add anything you want, jalapeno, red pepper flake, I just am going to make them pretty basic today. And then I'm going to throw some mayonnaise in here. Probably I'll start with two tablespoons because like I said, I do not like mine overly moist. Yeah, I'll put one more in. Or I might need some more pickle juice. We'll taste it and see. I like mine pretty dilly. Hmm. That is really good. I definitely, yeah, I think just a little touch more. Just a little more mustard and literally just a splash more pickle juice. And these are kosher pickle juice. But I think that's perfect. And again, I like mine more on the dill side. But you make yours how you like them. Now, I have a pastry bag in here. I buy um, 
to frost cookies. I buy these bags. Generally, I get them at Michael's or Joanne, and I get the 100 pack when I have a coupon and they're not on sale. And that lasts me a long time because I pipe literally everything. A lot of my baking is piped um, for keto. By the way, this is keto friendly. Mm. Delish. Now, you don't have to do this, right? Just get out a spoon. It doesn't matter. I'm just me. And I'll show you. There we go. And then I literally just fill each egg. Let me put some paprika on top. Um, yeah. And that's it. The reason I like to do this is so I can make them even and pretty if I'm taking them somewhere. And it's less fuss than spooning. But again, if you don't have any pastry bags, don't worry about it. You can also use a Ziploc bag. Done. My deviled eggs are now done. I think what I'll do today instead of paprika is just sprinkle some dill. Because I like dill. Put it on the fridge and let them come, you know, chill and set and let all the flavors blend and then I'll show you I got my kitchen and dining room done all right I'm kind of excited I've got things tidied up in here that's my purse and that's a bag of things I'm taking on vacation coming up over November I just need to pull that away on my table these are things I'm going to be using for my tiered tray which I have not decorated yet but I did take off the fall stuff um, over here, I have my little Scandinavian Nordic scene, and then I moved all the plants out of my front window, and I put them on this cart so I can move it around the kitchen and when there's um, sun and things, except for that one. That'll stay there. Alex's little tree. Now, I get a lot of comments. Don't your cats eat your plants? Yes. That plant right there. I can't keep them out of it. It doesn't hurt them, so I don't care. I decided that's like the cat plant. They chew on that. I need to repot it. That is, <laughs> I ordered it on Amazon. It was a case of the sparkling ice um, crisp apple. I even washed my windows, y'all. And then my kitchen. I wiped down all my counters. I just made some deviled eggs. This I'm going to make for dinner. Some bacon with some cabbage. That's what's left. The bacon is thawing, and this is from a half a cow that my family gifted me and my cousins for my birthday. Or half a pig, I'm sorry, half a pig. So I have everything tidied and wiped down and ready to decorate over here. And stove, microwave, and then this is my wall. I will have a video up. All this is from the Target dollar spot, except for a couple of things that came from the Dollar Tree, like the tree and I ordered the beads. Hi, baby. But this mostly all came from the Target dollar spot. So that's fun. I think that's it. I got the two rooms I wanted done today done. Next up, I'll be working on my living room.